So now that we've decomposed a rectangular prism into a net, we're going to create a net from a triangular prism. So first of all, let's determine what are the bases of a triangular prism. So I see that it's actually written here for us. Oops, I thought I put the highlighter, which means this is the base of our shape of a triangle. So this is the base shape. So let's write triangular prism in our notes and identify it as the base shape. So here again, we have seen that just because it is laying upside down does not mean the triangle is not our base. So if I just kind of create that 3D shape, right, I see that here are the two parallel bases. And in fact, they are both triangles. And so I can start piecing those together um, into the net, but I usually like to start with what the shape is sitting on. And so I see that it is sitting on what we would see as a rectangle, right? If we rotated this shape on either side so that we could see all three sides, I see that it is a rectangle with a width of six and a length of three, because if this length is three, that means this side opposite is also three. And I see that there are three rectangles that make up this these lateral sides. So I'm gonna draw the second rectangle that is also a three by six rectangle. So I can label this as well. And now we need to highlight this back rectangular piece, which again is also three by six. So now I have my three lateral sides. I'm just writing it down one more time to show that these are the sides around that connect the two bases together. And now we have to include the triangular bases. So let me go ahead and clear this up. And I see that in green, we have a triangle that would face out this way and this way. And I see that the bottom base of the triangle is three, and these dimensions are also three, which would match the side over here with these triangles as well. So let's just stamp one more time. To create a net, we need to think about the bases of the shape first. Then we can look for the lateral faces of the shape and draw them out. So we went and saw that there were three rectangles and we drew them out next to each other. And then we place the matching dimensions from this 3D shape to the correct side in our 2D net. Okay, and we finished off with the bases at, on the sides. So we're going to try more independently to continue to practice this skill.